गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टडी आर सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ जोग्राफी पॉपुलेशन डायनामिक्स पॉपुलेशन इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पीपल इन ए पर्टिकुलर प्लेस एंड द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन रेफर्स टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ह्यूमन्स करंटली लिविंग द स्टेटिस्टिकल स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन इज नोन एज डेमोग्राफी पॉपुलेशन इज कॉन्स्टेंटली अंडर गोइंग चेंजेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइज एंड कंपोजिशन सो पॉपुलेशन डायनेमिक्स फोकस इज ऑन द चेंजेस टेकिंग प्लेस एंड देयर इफेक्ट ऑन द पॉपुलेशन पॉपुलेशन डायनेमिक्स कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ए ब्रांच ऑफ लाइफ साइंसिस दैट स्टडीज द साइज एंड एज कंपोजिशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एज डायनेमिकल सिस्टम एंड द बायोलॉजिकल एंड एनवायरमेंटल प्रोसेस इज ड्राइविंग दैम आल दो पॉपुलेशन हैज ऑलवेज बीन कॉन्स्टेंटली इंक्रीजिंग एक्सेप्ट ड्यूरिंग द फॉलोइंग इवेंट epidemics outbreak of plague in the middle ages and outbreak of aids in africa natural disasters during floods famine earthquake time political crisis the two world wars and gulf war and china's earlier policy of one child which reduced the population to a certain extent population density refers to the number of people living per unit of an area it is obtained by taking the number of people in a given area and dividing that number by the total area of the place according to the density of population the area can be categorized as being densely populated moderately populated and sparsely populated densely populated regions these regions include countries that are developed agriculturally and industrially Presently four major regions in the world have been identified to be densely populated these include eastern asia south and southeast asia western and central europe and east central north america moderately populated regions moderately populated regions are interspersed between densely populated and sparsely populated regions regions of central usa central america south america large parts of africa south russia eastern europe deccan plateau of india central china southeast australia are all defined as moderately populated regions sparsely populated regions sparsely populated regions are the regions which have very less population these reasons do not support or provide humans with basic necessities so these type of reasons include equatorial reasons polar reasons and desert reasons equatorial reasons the reasons close to the equator are referred to as equatorial reasons these reasons experience high temperature and heavy rainfall throughout the year which do not support population growth polar regions polar regions which are extremely cold and covered with ice such as antarctica and tundra so it is very difficult for people to survive in such extreme cold climate desert regions these regions are very dry and do not receive enough rainfall for the growth of vegetation population distribution on earth is influenced by different factors these factors have been classified into three categories physical factors economic and social factors and historical factors physical factors also known as geographical factors include topography climate natural vegetation soil water and mineral resources topography plains are densely populated rather than mountainous regions because it is not easy to construct houses in such region but it it is much easier to grow crops as well that is why the ganga plains in india is densely populated while the mountainous regions of the alps and is and himalayas are sparsely populated climate regions experiencing extreme climatic conditions are bound to be sparsely populated because the people tend to settle in regions where the climatic conditions are moderate and there is sufficient rainfall soil areas with fertile soil are densely populated that is why the fertile plains of the gangas and brahmaputra are densely populated regions water the river valleys of the world are densely populated while deserts have sparse population 
because the people want to live in the area where the fresh water is available which they can use for various purposes minerals areas with mineral deposit are more populated as availability of minerals enhances the value of a region economic and socio cultural factors these factors include the development of industries good transport facilities urbanization and government policies historical factors historical factors also play an important role in the distribution of population many densely populated regions in the world have a long history of human habitation while sparsely populated regions can be explained in terms of its recent habitation thank you and have a nice day